guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because we are going to be looking at all of my Disney ears. So we have quite a few to get through today and a lot of you guys probably have watched my past ears collection. I am going to be showing you some of the ears that you've already seen. So it's kind of repetitive, but I have a few more that I've added to my collection. Also, if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do one of these videos almost every year around the same time. It's super fun. So I'd love it if you would subscribe. Starting off, we are going to talk about these ears. I'm not even going to say they're my favorite ears because I'm going to say that for like all of these ears. I don't get ears just to get ears. I get ears because I like them. There's a lot of ears out there that I don't have that I don't really care to own. These are the limited edition Alex and Annie ears. It was a collab, part of the Disney designer collection. And I love these. This is what they look like, gold plated on a headband. They're very, very light. They don't hurt your head. I have gotten a lot of comments and compliments on them in the past, so I love them. Um, and they're super comfortable. They're not uncomfortable like some of the ears that you're gonna see. I did wanna show you the box that these Alex and Annie ears came in. So this is the Parks Designer Collection Limited Release. This is what the box looks like. This is what the back looks like. And just opening this on up, there's nothing on the top of the box, but it has this little bag that the ears stay in and it just says Alex and Annie on it. it just looks like so. It has this big foamy thing. This is like a big foam pad. And then here it just comes with, this is just a cleaning cloth that says Alex and Annie on it in an envelope. And then obviously I have my receipts in the box, but this is, a super fun item. I love them. If there was any other ears from the Disney designer collection that I would want, it would definitely be the Princess Leia ear bun one. So I'm going to start off with all of the unbranded Disney ears. They come from other places other than Disney. I only have two pairs. So the first pair is this pair from Party City. They're literal mouse ears. I went to a Halloween party and I was a mouse duh. I had this shirt on. So basically I just wore these on my head. They really don't count as Disney, but whatever. The next pair of ears I'm gonna share, they are from Play It By Ears, I think. Um, one of my viewers, Britt Renee, she gave me these ears when we met up and it was so nice. Um, so I still have these. It was probably, I think, one of the first things that someone like has gotten me that has watched one of my videos. So they are very special and they're very well crafted. The next pair of ears are these ears from Disney's California Adventure. Um, I don't even know if they still sell these. I think they did sell them here in Florida, but they are just these like art deco ears. The next pair of ears are these gingerbread ears. These were this year's edition of the Christmas ears that Disney Disney brought out. I love these because I love, I genuinely love gingerbread. They're just really soft too. Keeping on the trend with holiday ears, I have these candy corn ears. These are the Halloween edition ears. These are the 2018 edition. They do have a 2019 edition, but I honestly love the puffy bow. The current version, the bow is like hard. It's kind of like plastic-ish. And I really enjoy the sequin fabric ones. I love these and on the side it just says, I'm here for the candy. The next pair of ears I'm gonna share are these lollipop ears. Get some ASMR in here. But yeah, they are hard plastic and they have just this bow. It's fabric and this little ball right here. The ball is made out of like stuffing or something. It's not like hard or anything. And yeah, I just really like the way these look. Very Candyland-esque. Keeping on with the snack trend, we have these Mickey bar ice cream ears and they're so adorable because it looks like there's a bite taken out of one of the ears and it's like a Mickey bar. So there's not much that I can say about these ears, but they're definitely probably one of my favorite pairs just because I'm a really big Mickey bar lover. I love Mickey bars. So when they came out with these ears, I knew I had to have them. The next pair of ears I'm going to show you aren't really ears, but it is a headband that is a must in everyone's collection. It is this slinky dog headband. The little tail pulls out like this. It stretches and it's just like a little slinky dog on a headband. This one's not as tight on the head. I feel like some of these older versions of ears, they have this headband that's really tight, but the newer updated versions, if you're going to Disney, 
and you want a pair of ears. They have redone the headbands so they're not as tight. So A plus Disney, thank you for fixing that because it was so painful to wear the ears and the headgear. The next pair of ears are these plain silver ears and like I was just saying that the headband is super tight. These are an old pair of ears. They will in fact give you a headache throughout the entire day at the park. The next pair of ears are so adorable. They are these bubblegum wall ears. And if you guys know where the bubblegum wall is, it's right near Spaceship Earth, the big golf ball ride. And they just have these little golf ball ears. And then the bow is mimicking the wall. So I just think these are adorable. They're great for bubblegum wall pictures. The next pair of ears I'm gonna show you are the Millennial Pink Ears, and I love them. Honestly wish the bow wasn't puffy like this, just because I like the way the Rolls Gold ones look better. These are just plain Millennial Pink. Honestly, I really like this pastel pink. It's really pretty. This one also has the old type of headband, and I can tell. The next pair of ears I'm gonna share are these purple ears, and these were pretty popular. Um, they thought they were gonna be as big as the rose gold. I don't believe that they are as big as the rose gold, but they're just this pretty, pretty purple color and the bow is kind of iridescent like. The next pair of ears are these original Minnie Mouse ears. These aren't the actual original original ears, but they are the classic, I should say. So they're just black ears with a red bow on them. I'm really happy that I have these in my collection because they're the original. So if you just wanna wear jeans, a white top, and throw these on, you kind of have yourself the perfect Disney outfit. The next pair of ears I'm gonna share with you are my newest pair. And my mom just got this for me and I'm so excited because I love the red collection. And I don't know what it is about it. I just really, it resonates with me. I love just the simple plain red. They just look very classy. I don't know. I just really like them and she surprised me and brought them home from work. The next pair of ears are the classic, ever famous rose gold ears. This is the oldest edition, the very first round of ears that they brought out, the original. I didn't get them when they first came out, but like, the second wave when they were still super rare to find. My mom was on the hunt for them because she works there and found these babies. So these are probably actually my favorite pair of ears just because of the exclusivity when they first came out and my mom got them and I don't know, it was just like really cool to have. They were like the cool thing to wear to the parks that everyone wanted. So they just will always have a special place in my heart. The thing I'm going to say about these ears, they keep on redoing them, meaning you can't get these ears anymore. This is the old version. They have a new version now where the ear is just like a material. It's not actually the sequins and the bow is made out of the sequins, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's super weird, but I'm so lucky to have these and I swear they're probably going on eBay for a really expensive amount. Last but not least, this is a pair that I absolutely love and it does have a special place in my heart because they are rose gold, but they're Disney Cruise Line edition. So I had to have these. This was my souvenir from the cruise that I recently went on this December with my family. They just have the traditional rose gold ears, um, not the new version. This is the actual sequins. They didn't change the ears yet for these, so that's not like the sparkly material. It's actual sequins. And then this cute little bow that has anchors on it. I absolutely love it. So as you guys can tell, there are little hidden Mickeys on the top of the anchor. I absolutely love that. That's probably one of my favorite things about these ears. Here is the back of them, just the plain rose gold. Also, I wanted to throw in this video, if anyone, this sounds so desperate, but guys, if any of you know someone or are someone, that is part of Disney's Club 33. I am dying to get my hands on the rose gold Club 33 ears. Club 33 is a very exclusive club that you can only get in if you know someone or you pay thousands and thousands of dollars to Disney. Honestly, I would just love it for the experience to say that I've been to a Club 33. I don't even care which one. Like it could be Epcot, it could be Magic Kingdom, it could be Animal Kingdom. Like I honestly don't care. I just want to experience to go see what Club 33 is all about and get 
Fit Club 33 ears because I see those on Instagram and I'm like, they're like the most super rare ears to find and I really, really want a pair. And what brings this up is that the Club 33 ears look very similar to the Cruise ears with like the blue bow, only it has like a 33 here in rose gold plating and um, the bow I think is like blue. I don't know, if I can find a picture, I'll post it here. But because I'm putting this out there, if you know anyone or are someone that is a part of Club 33, could you please befriend me so I can just like see that and experience that because that would be so cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it was a lot of ears, but I really want to know which ones were your favorite. If you could choose any of my ears that you could have, like which ones would it be or one it would be and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.